Parliamentarian from Rajya Sabha, Mr. Manoj Jha of the RJD is joining us now. Uh, RJD, one of the political parties of the 20 that has decided to boycott uh, the inauguration of the new parliament. Mr. Jha, you know, one can speak to as many constitutional experts. The fact is, you may attach a value judgment to it. Uh, you might uh, call it propriety uh, in terms of why the president is not inaugurating the new building or the fact that why the president or the vice president are not invited. However, you cannot, sir, call it constitutionally illegal because there is a separation which is made very clear where the parliament is concerned and the parliament building. The inauguration of the parliament building is in the hands of the executive and the prime minister has invited himself to inaugurate it. But let me, uh, let me state it. Who said that it is illegal? At least not me not my party. You know, when we talk through the lens of constitution, the propriety issue, the moral fiber is much more important. And my reference point is nothing else. Now, without listening to any of the experts, I'll have this book in my hand and would open 79, article 79, which unambiguously states that, that there shall be a parliament for the union which shall consist of the president and two houses to be known respectively as council of states and house of the people. Now, this is the position. This is a building, a new parliament. Now, forget legality, illegality. Let's not get into it. There is nothing, if, even things which when they are not constitutional, in order to prove legality, there would be miles to go. What is important that is it desirable? Are we setting a new precedent? Are we saying that the new parliament will have much more say of the executive than the legislature? It's a question of propriety. It's a question of uh, tradition. It's a question of how do we view Article 79 in all these contemporary debates? But Mr. Jha, for the sake of an argument, what you make right now, the same argument can be turned around on you, sir, when you talk about propriety, when you talk about precedence, when you talk about coming together. Uh, the sheer fact that the opposition today is standing accused of boycotting an event where the Prime Minister is inaugurating possibly the biggest symbol of democracy where the country is concerned. Look, uh, very frankly, uh, I am I'm seriously worried about the discourse in my country. Uh, how do we view parliamentary and parliamentary discourses when a bill is passed in two minutes, less than two minutes? How do we view parliamentary procedures and parliamentary protocol when uh, an important law, farm laws, were bulldozed through the parliament? We, we were kept, we kept begging, please have larger debate, larger debate. The executive thought that the ruling party thought that they, they can get away with numbers. But ultimately, when the protest erupted, almost in the entire northern India, the government apologized. The prime minister apologized and withdrew it. Had they listened to us on that day, that's what we have been saying. Please understand. It is not petty politics. You can't have a position as part of your orchestra. He's my prime minister also. Can't I tell him, request him, so please respect Article 79. Honorable President should have, should inaugurate this building. If we ask this, put our demand, insist on it. And if the prime minister and his team doesn't relent, we say that we'll not be part of this kind of uh, occasion, a kind of event where the discourses are not important. You are actually trying to museumize the very idea of democracy. This is not petty politics. I'm, I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, we have seen enough of it. We have seen the kind of discourse Honorable Prime Minister indulges it. And the recent example is Karnataka. Bajrang Bali is equal to Bajrang Dal. I never thought any of my Prime Minister will take the electoral discourse to that level. That is the damage to democracy. Not what the opposition today is doing by deciding not to be part of this event, which is actually an event management by the 10th Shamiana Company of BJP. But Mr. Jha, that's the argument, because the argument is by the government and uh, 
quite a few thinkers as well, that the opposition could have risen above it. You could have coerced the Prime Minister to invite, uh, you know, the head of the parliament who is the president. You could have, uh, you know, which you are doing. You could have uh, insisted that the vice president who actually is the chair of one of the houses be present there. But risen above petty politics of what you talk and attend a function which is in tune of celebrating a symbol of democracy. The charge, Mr. Jha, is that political parties for the first time banding together in the strength of 20, which hasn't happened before, for you is in a way of flexing your muscle when it comes down to unity where the opposition is concerned. Look, I, I, I would not uh, trumpet that this is one issue where we have all come together. It was largely spontaneously. And I'm, uh, spontaneity was the hallmark of this. None of us had a kind of uh, the mechanism that will talk. This is an issue of opposition unity. This is an issue which should be an issue for everybody who believes that whichever party is in power should run this great nation on the basis of the premises drawn in this book called Indian Constitution. Anything beyond this, beneath this, below this is not acceptable. I'm glad large number of opposition parties have decided to go ahead with the fact that telling the prime minister, sir, please go for course correction. And if that eventually becomes part of a larger, say, matrix of opposition, opposition unity, that is good for the country, that is good for the people. At least we shall be able to retrieve what we have lost in last, lost in the last couple of years. Mr. Jaina, democracy as opposition parties, it is your right to boycott a political event. But if you are going to attack value, uh, attach value judgment to the Prime Minister inaugurating the new building and not allowing the President to do so, then be prepared that there will be a value judgment attached to the opposition as well for boycotting an event which many view as a celebration of democracy. But I thank you, sir, uh, for coming in and joining us and giving your point of view, propriety versus politics, which is it? We leave our viewers to decide.